Welcome to Renaissance Charge Videos. I'm Rick Friedrich. And today we have a second new product that we're showing. So those who have the Renaissance um, Resonance Kit 2 um, will recognize this. And you might have seen this before in my other videos. But this is kind of a mystery uh, coil. I'm not going to get into the details of that at all here because I'm only going to introduce a helping um, some parts framing and just go over a couple of those details. So what we have here, thanks to a friend of mine, um, is a 3D printed coil or a frame that's eight inches. So what what I did initially was go through many many of these concrete tubes that you find at this one's Menards, Home Depot. Most of them are not eight inches, and this is a Don Smith device um, according to his specifications. So what we have here is um, 8 gauge wire and 10 gauge wire is the primary. So the secondary is uh, 8 gauge. So what I did, I decided to do is to make this, at least this part of it. Now we'll probably add some clips to this, but this can be extended. So just briefly, the parts here, there's two parts only. And you can make bigger rings, but my 3D printer doesn't go any bigger than this. So we may do something with the primary, but uh, I'll show you why I like it like this and what we can do with it. So this is smaller than eight inches, but when you look at the side support pieces, it brings it to just just under 8 inches so that when you get the 10 gauge wire wrapped around it or sorry the 8 gauge wire the center of the wire from side to side will be 8 inches so don't ask me about this particular model um, because it's part of the book in the kit too. I don't really have any time anymore to coach anybody, so don't try and um, try and get me to coach you because I won't do it. I don't have any more time. Um, some of you are trying to do that, and I um, will just not answer your phone calls after a while, as you might see. <laughs> Anyway, so this can be done at any size, and there's actually three different parts here. There's a half size here. So the bigger parts here are $5 a piece, and you can get as many as you want, and maybe I'll do a discount on a large number of them or something. But these take quite a while to print, and anybody can print their own if they want to do it, but I'm just providing this as a service. So, in order to do this tube, you would really need the small section and the big section. Um, this particular one, this will clamp down. And it's pretty rigid. You know, it's not going anywhere. The wire will give it a little bit more stability too, but... Um, so this would be quite tall, Tesla coil, but for this sake, you'd only need, if you want to try to do this, you could make it with two sections. So it's nice and snug fit, but it does take some pushing down. Start with the bottom first, bottom ring in this case, and then pull these out 
So you're going to do, because you've got eight of these, and you can have as many as you want, but you want them exactly across from each other and evenly spaced. Now, the thicker the wire you use, if you were doing bigger wire too, um, it would be more rounded. So if it's not pulled too tight, you can make it kind of round. You could put some kind of sheeting around this, like some very flexible plastic, if you wanted to make it more rounded in that sense. But it's not very critical to have perfect round. Um, so now, yeah, like this one would go on the top here, and then you notice that these are offset because it really doesn't matter with the wire. And you could have a smaller coil just made out of these small sections. So these will be three dollars a piece, these little ones, and these ones are five dollars, and same with the ring. So we will literally be printing uh, 24 hours, actually it's printing even here in the background <laughs> while I speak because um, I could really, with my printer, only do one of a whole thing like this in one day. So we'll see, people are interested. So getting into this now a little bit more, um, I came up with this design, plexiglass, I just drilled some holes so that the tube could fit through. And then I added these dowels here, put some tape around them, and put some uh, kind of decorative um, pieces over them. And then when I put the tape on there, it kind of holds them in place. So it's good enough. And of course this could be put on its side too. Now, I said I wasn't going to talk about this, but the idea of putting the, the dowels in here is allows you to move this coil, the L1, which is the purpose of this particular experiment that Don recommended for people to do. And you say, well, where did he recommend that? Well, that's for you to find out, <laughs> for you to figure out. <laughs> it's kind of a mystery point that I made in the kit. So, now I only put four dowels in here. I should have put at least six, probably more like eight, like we do here. So you can see the coil is not completely round. You know, I could just wedge something in there too. So I was thinking about, we could make a plate up for people, but on the other hand, I don't really want to drill the holes. Like we could drill, the, we could drill a hole in it for, to fit this, right? Just like I have it here. And then, um, then you could drill your own holes, depending on wh how big of a primary you want. Um, so you may want different gauge wire, you may want to do different things. So I'm not sure at this point whether we'll do um, a side plate, but you can easily do that yourself. So this, while I want to encourage people to work with this based upon what I taught in the book, the Residence Kit 2 book, I'm not going to get into any coaching because I want people to think about what is said rather than just, they just want, a lot of people just want a parts instruction. And I'm more an educator. I don't really care if people have free energy, I'll tell you honestly. Um, I care if people think for themselves. I like people to be um, self-sufficient in energy and in every way. But in order to be that way, you can't just be mindless. And that's where everybody's headed right now. I've noticed huge cognitive decline in people in general, even in people in the free energy community, people who were different before. It's kind of like people are zombies now. <laughs> so I want to still encourage people to think. 
I want them to reflect. Um, I'm not saying, I'm not taking a negative attitude like you have to be worthy of it to do something. But um, I've said a lot of different things and people rush through something and don't pay attention to details. And the thing about this is, is it's extremely dangerous, these things. So I'm not going to just um, spoon feed because it's, um, it's very dangerous if you don't really, if you haven't really contemplated these things deeply and taken the time to have some mastery over it, then this is not for you. Um, that we sell a solar charger controller, use some solar panels. <laughs> you know, even that, I've gone through numerous conversations with people, several a week, where I realize that people um, shouldn't have a solar system because they have no clue. Like they try and set it up themselves, and it's very dangerous. You know, working with batteries. I was a mechanic. Um, for years I know the dangers now of course I work with batteries more than when I was a mechanic but very much it's very dangerous now, this is high voltage high amperage in many cases and um, you know it's not something you're gonna learn in five minutes but anyway I wanted to provide another tool for people so this could be made um, you could use these side supports with a different ring, maybe we'll get into somebody else will make for me bigger rings if people want them, and then I'll sell them. Um, I have no problem buying something from someone else and selling it if they want to do that. So you could make a bigger one. I mean, I'd like to make a bigger one. We could probably make it in pieces and somehow clip it together, but uh, that's another day. For now, I just wanted to do this one. I think that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching.